You've probably seen a thousand mud daubers in your life, but do you know how they live? What they eat? What they do at night or in the winter? In this video, I will bring all of those things to light. Mud daubers are a spider's worst nightmare. And because of that, I have a like dislike thing with them. I like spiders, so I'm not a fan of what these wasps do, but I also understand that they are part of the natural order of things. But aside from that, mud daubers are perhaps the busiest creatures I've ever observed. Adult females work all day gathering mud to make little self-contained nurseries for their offspring. That I respect. Now, I've previously called other creatures a spider's worst nightmare, referring to spider wasps. But mud daubers pretty much do the same thing, but to a much greater degree. Much greater. While technically not called spider wasps, mud daubers zombify spiders in pretty much the same way as spider wasps. And you may have heard when you were younger that mud daubers won't sting you. Well, they certainly are capable of stinging, but will only do so when they are trapped and feel threatened. They are not aggressive at all, and usually flee when perceived trouble is near. Also, the sting of a mud dauber would be fairly weak. Now, I've never been stung by one, but I have been stung by a spider wasp, and it wasn't terribly painful, but it was quite itchy. More annoying than anything, really. Mud daubers are so called because they construct nesting chambers out of mud, which later hardens and protects the larvae within. These wasps, as adults, actually drink nectar for sustenance, but the larvae must feed on spiders. And that's where the macabre nature of these wasps comes in. An adult female mud dauber, after constructing nesting chambers out of mud, will then hunt for spiders. Once located, if she wins the fight, and she does most of the time, she will sting the spider, which paralyzes the victim but does not kill it. She will then carry the immobilized spider to a nesting chamber and stuff it inside. Each chamber is often filled with several spiders. Now, let's take a look at some of the carnage, shall we? A man posted these photos to social media after he knocked down a mud dauber nest while moving some lumber. He was gracious enough to allow me the use of his photos and said no attribution was necessary. So thank you to him. The man was shocked, as was I, at what he discovered inside this multi-chambered nest. Let's take a look at these photos. Okay, let's take a look at this first photo. Right here you can see what's left of the nesting chambers. Let me go ahead and zoom in. You're right there. Let me pull this down a little bit. And here's a mud dauber larva. Here's a mud dauber larva. And these appear to be orb weaver spiders up here. And these are orb weavers as well. And this is almost certainly the nest of a yellow-legged mud dauber. Sometimes called the black and yellow mud dauber. And their favorite prey item for their offspring is orb weavers, and then crab spiders, and then jumping spiders, according to arachnologists and entomologists. However, you'll see in these photos there are a lot of jumping spiders mixed in with this group. Let's zoom in a little more. And yeah, you see a lot of orb weavers. I believe that's a, the underneath of a jumping spider. Looks like you can see her book lungs right there, probably. And here's a nice view of an orb weaver, crab spider, another crab spider. And uh, there's a jumping spider. You can see its abdomen right there. Can't really see the rest of it, but here's its abdomen. And these are cell phone photos, so they're not super sharp. They're good cell phone photos, but they're uh, not super sharp. And I believe this is another jumper here with an orb weaver over here. Lots of orb weavers mixed in. Scroll down here a little bit. Here's a jumping spider. Here's a jumping spider. Here's a orb weaver. Jumping spider. Another jumping spider. And the rest appear to be orb weavers here. And then let's go to the uh, next photo. Okay, here we have two groups of spiders. Lots of spiders. Uh, let's zoom in on this group first, shall we? Okay, here we are on this next photo, and let's zoom in, and we have quite a variety here. Here's a green link spider. Here's a jumping spider. Here's another jumping spider, a couple of orb weavers. I believe this is a jumping spider, the underneath. I can see, it looks like book lungs right there for the jumping spider. Here's another jumping spider. Here's a nice look at a, uh, an orb weaver. Here's another jumping spider, and then right here, this looks real nice. What a pretty spider this was. Um, looks like a male Whitman's jumping spider. Here's a female jumping spider. Another jumping spider. More orb weavers. 
more orb weavers and maybe another link spider okay let's move on to the other photo okay here we are on this next let's zoom in here and this is just absolutely shocking look at all these spiders and all these spiders are just paralyzed they're not dead not dead at all and scientists aren't certain whether the spiders are just paralyzed until they're consumed or if they're in a vegetative state like brain dead I certainly hope for the spider's sake that they're brain dead but let's take a look at this photo we'll start from the top up here lots of orb weavers and here's another nice looking jumping spider here's another one here's another jumping spider good grief here's a crab spider upside down here's another crab spider and here's a good look at a crab spider right there another jumper another jumper upside down orb weaver a few orb weavers here and here's another jumper down here maybe another Whitman's here's another one right there maybe a Whitman's I'm not certain lots of orb weavers but this is just shocking I think this picture proves that uh, mud daubers are quite successful at what they do There are dozens of species of mud daubers around the world, and maybe 10 or so in the United States. For this video, I will speak about three species which are common, but one will be featured quite a bit more than the other two. The black and yellow mud dauber is maybe the most common mud dauber species in this country. It is also quite prevalent in Europe as well. This species builds nesting cells side by side or on top of one another. The female will use her strong mandibles to gather mud, a small ball at a time, then take it to a pre-selected location to mold a chamber into shape. The final product can be rounded with multiple chambers and about the size of a small lemon. However, I have seen on occasion where they only make a single or double chamber at any given place. When she is ready, the hunt will begin. As indicated previously, these wasps prey on jumping spiders, crab spiders, and perhaps the most popular, orb weavers. And while the other two species are diurnal, Orb weavers are nocturnal and generally hide during the day. Some are good at hiding, while some are not. Also, as indicated previously, once she stings the victim, she will then carry it to a nesting chamber and stuff it inside. Once a chamber is crammed full of spiders, she will lay an egg inside and seal off the entrance with mud. Each chamber will have a single egg. After several molts by a larva within the chamber, an adult will emerge by digging its way out. A female adult wasp will almost immediately set out to work building nesting chambers for her own future offspring. These wasps gather mud nearly all day long. and they often make funny sounds while working, either when gathering mud or building nests. Nests are constructed in dry locations so they are protected from rain, which would turn the nesting chambers into mush. And speaking of turning dry mud into mush, there is another species which is quite common that will gather only water so that it can take over and remodel the old chambers of other species. The blue mud dauber wasp is metallic blue, does not build its own nests, but instead reuses those of other species. 
It gathers the water and then uses it to soften and remodel the clay of older nests. Interestingly enough, the blue mud dauber's favorite prey is the black widow. The pipe organ mud dauber is black with blue wings with white stockings on its hind legs. It makes vertical parallel rows of cells. The finished product looks like a pipe organ. At night, mud daubers rest on the branches or leaves of trees and bushes. They overwinter in the larval phase. Even though mud daubers win the fight against their victims the majority of the time, it doesn't always go well for the wasp. For instance, this female built this excellent nesting chamber, then flew off in search of a spider. She brought back an orb weaver, stuffed it in the back of the chamber, then left again, presumably to get more spiders. However, she never returned. I'm not certain what happened to her. Perhaps she lost a fight with a spider, or maybe she herself was a victim of predation. Here, a robber fly nabbed a mud dauber for a midday snack. Robber flies are excellent at catching wasps. Birds also prey on mud daubers. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you. Oh, hello. I'm Randy from Randy's Natural World. I hope you enjoyed the video on... Mud daubers. Yes. Yes, that's it. Today I'm pretending to be a scientist. Maybe I'm doing research on a 5 o'clock shadow. I'm not sure. But that's neither here nor there. I'm hoping to speak to those of you who haven't subscribed yet. Here's a list of reasons why you should. It's free. You can't beat that price. Number two, quality content. Always quality content. Number three, YouTube allows unlimited subscriptions, so there's no reason not to. Anyway, number four, are you a procrastinator? There's no need to procrastinate. And I know what you're thinking. Randy, I'll subscribe when I get around to it. Well, here's your round to it right here round to it so go ahead and subscribe go ahead a wise decision